Yes. <clears throat> Warakil 19C. What is this Warakil? Already previous demo classes, small, small concepts I'm telling. In a newcomer's means, fastly observe it. Warakil. Oracle is a database, database software. Oracle is a database software. Oracle, SQL Server, DB2, Sybase, Informix, Postgres, Ingress, SQLite. These are called database softwares. <clears throat> These are called database softwares. These are relational database, really. Already we are telling. These are database softwares. What is the main purpose of these database softwares means to store data permanently in hard disk to store data to store to store data permanently permanent permanently in hard disk secondary storage devices permanently in hard disk in hard disk. Now slowly observe it here. <clears throat> Actually, database is all about storage of data. But not only storage of data, it also deals about efficient retrieval of data. That is important. Suppose, for example, without these type of database softwares, in a Windows operating system is there, for example, here. In this Windows operating system, I am also here also storing a data possible. Suppose here, this is a file, okay, so C drive is there. In this one, in a file format also, we are storing a data permanently. In this file only, I'm storing a what? Some employee details. This is not a database. Just here, millions of records, lakhs of records, here also we are storing. Suppose yesterday I'm storing, otherwise last week I'm storing. Yes, permanently, here also permanently we are storing a data without database. But unfortunately, storing a data is not a big issue, really. But what is the issue is there in a where files format only we are storing a data here. What is the issue? Uh, efficient retrieval of data is not there. Suppose, for example, some employees' details are there here. For example, I want to retro all the employees which are joining at September month. Suppose here, I want to retro before September month, which are employees are joining those employees. I want to retro, for example, here, here, these type of employees I want to retro. How can I filter it? How can I retrieve it? That is important. Suppose some employees are getting a more than 3000 salary. Those employees, how can I retrieve it? How can I filter it? That is important. Now, those type of things are always very difficult in a where these type of flat file mechanism. Actually, those type of data, how efficiently we are retrieving means in a database has came into picture. Here, database is there. In this database, already I'm telling in a previous classes, anybody observing or not, Oracle, SQL Server, DB2, these relational databases. Once we are installing a what those softwares automatically some place is created in a hard disk. But unfortunately here, what I'm telling here, these databases stores a what structured collection of data, not a unstructured data. Unstructured data storing means some other type of databases are there, MongoDB, suppose you are, okay, so now sir, Neo4j, these type of databases are there. But here, these type of relational databases stores a what a structured collection of data. Already we are discussing in a previous classes. Is a structured collection of data. Once the data is stored in a where in a structured manner, this relational database, we are operating this data or we are retrieving this data by using which languages? SQL, SQL, structured query language, SQL, PLSQL, these languages we are using. In a previous classes, we are telling that one. Suppose here, now check it out, screen observe it here. Suppose here, this is a database. Okay, fine. In my database, always here, employee details are available. For example, some employee details they're storing. For example, slowly observe it here. 
suppose some employee numbers employee names jobs or uh, their managers ir date means adjoining date only and our salaries commission department number is there this is the structured manner the data is there a structured manner only data is available structured manner means table format suppose a newcomer means observe it here this column only stores a what numbers this column only stores a what strings only suppose here i want to now this is a database for example here i am asking in a previous case i want to retro all the employees who are joining in the month september for example september month some employees are joining only those employees details i want in a project side how can i means just you are a good experienced person you are writing about some queries this is a query language sql is there okay fine like this only in a future you are also writing about some queries how you are writing about these queries we are learning in our course don't worry now here check it out here this is the way one of the stage you are familiar this is the way i am writing about you are writing about some queries here like this only very easy queries how can i write means i will tell you just observe it here some query i am writing so now here observe it here this is sql language whenever we are using a what this sql language i am writing a what this query september month who are the employees are joining those employees only it will be filtered yes those employees only retrieve the data from the database or not other employees it does not retrieve this type of reporting okay fine and now here actually efficient way of not only really retrieving modifying the data deleting the data so many operations we are performing operations purpose not a storing storing is not a big issue so now here operations we are performing suppose i want to uh, suppose your experience database programmer means in a database also for example september before we, so now here prior to september which employees are joining those employees i want to retro means we are writing about some other queries like this these queries we are learning and now here how can i uh, write about these queries means i will tell you one of these stage you are familiar or now here check it out your this type of uh, son of your queries you are writing a what in a future we are learning a course means we are writing like this prior means before means less than greater than something some okay functions and all these things are there you are familiar one of this stage only these type of things only okay fine maybe so many experienced persons computer students well known persons this one and now here check it out okay fine okay some query i am writing like this now here before september only and now here whatever employees are joining those am before 81 81 year 1981 that one okay that data is there in my table just i am writing a what some query that query how it will be fetching means we are learning in a future yes some data it will be retrieved or not yes here like this suppose vocation okay, of here here more than that vocation okay, of september after only the data i want to retro means yes 81 after only just some type, other type of data retrieved or not yes these type of yes here queries we are using that's why always what we are telling about actually in a very databases means so many fellows are telling databases is nothing but a what some place only it will stores a what structured collection of data i am agree but unfortunately not only storing is not important how we efficiently if we are retrieving a data is important filtering a data we are important manipulating the data is important that's why always whenever we are learning a what in a previous classes oracle is a what a relational database which is used to sort of relational database i am telling and also what is the purpose of database means it is storing a what data not only storing the data efficiently retrieving a what a data purpose some operations we are performing purpose and also and also and also and now if you want to operate this data then we are using a what which languages some languages i am telling only this is called sql is a language today another newcomers are coming that's why again i am telling only small thing now here yes sql one okay if you want to operate this data then we are using a what which language yes here sql is a language sql is a language another language is what what, what is that one plspl is another language is there yes plspl is a language another one is what dynamic 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 sql is a language okay na today onwards before we are going to start these type of databases these type of operations just what is data what is information today we are learning what is information what type of data storing mechanisms are there in a where in a organization side in a old and days in 1960 before how they are storing a what a data but in 1960 onwards databases what are the old and days flag file approach means what are the drawbacks are there from the drawbacks some knowledge we are getting only through that one one by one by one we are learning that is better no yeah son of here that's why just 
write it what or some theory and you come up today onwards okay fine write it some theory idea purpose every class notes also i'm giving write it oracle today onwards we are starting oracle is a oracle is a relational oracle is oracle is a relational database relational database means data stored in the format of rows and columns no that is the matrix format oracle is a relational database which is used to which is used to which is used to store data store data or information permanently permanently in secondary storage devices secondary storage devices secondary storage devices means hard disk no yeah very easy okay okay na uh, some fellow one fellow is asking okay fine i am not a computer background student i am uh, uh, try to learn about this one this course is understandable yes understandable so now this is coding is not there very easily understandable okay so now varikil is a relational database which is used to store data or information permanently in secondary storage devices okay na and now write it again if you want to if you want to operate if you want to operate varikil database varikil database then we are using then we are using following languages then we are using following languages these are first one sql sql means structured query languages okay na sql one is sql second one pl sql pl sql means procedural language extension for sql again another one is dynamic sql dynamic dynamic sql dynamic sql observe it here if you want to operate oracle database then we are using following languages these are sql pl sql another one is dynamic sql now check it out what is this sql language means observe it here this is very easy anybody non technical person also without computer knowledge also they are learning very easy actually this is a non procedural language what is non procedural what is procedural means very easy suppose here you have maybe computer students are well known persons c c++ java these type of languages so many languages are there in a world wide these languages always procedural language concepts are there procedural language concepts are there that is variable declarations something is there no and now here yes again if conditions again loops so many things are there this is a little bit of difficult okay so now okay non technical person purpose and now here but unfortunately these type of things are not there in aware this sql language sql is a basically non procedural language this sql is a what which which type of language this is a non procedural non procedural non procedural language sql is a non procedural language 
non procedure long wise means loops are not there variables are not there conditions means if conditions case these type of things are not there okay fine just a simple simple commands are there observe it here so now so in a previous case i am telling only this is a want a database is there okay fine yes here this is a table format only data is available okay fine now check it out suppose here i am writing a what a single line of coding single line of coding sql and single line of coding then efficiently data is retrieved suppose this first row i want to retrieve for example in a future you are experienced person in our course we are telling these all the things only and now here check it out within fraction of second only now just observe it here one one line of coding i am writing automatically yes first row this is a row it will be displayed or not Suppose here they are asking a what in a company. Yes, this row only you want me. So how can I miss? Just we are writing a what a single line of coding is there or not? This is non-procedural language. Oh, what is select? What is insert? What is update? What is delete? These type of things we are learning only in a future. Okay, na? Yes, now here these type of uh, there those type of commands are used in a where in a SQL language. SQL SQL is a language. That's why SQL is a which type of language? Non-procedural language. structured query language this one this is a non procedural non procedural language one this is a non procedural language okay so now here yes in that sql language side we are learning a what in our course side only here these type of commands are there observe it here <coughs> here sql language side ddl some commands are there what is this ddl we are learning again dml insert update delete merge these type of commands we are learning again dql in a selection process projection process again tcl again commit roll back save point dcl these type of things we are learning only okay fine yes a single line of coding are there once we are starting our course then we are telling how can i write we are creating how can i alter just a simple simple syntax are there through that one only we are learning all the things recycle bin something only small small things only we are learning that's why sql is a non procedural language everyone knows now here pl sql pl sql means a procedural language extension for sql procedural language extension for sql in that language a little bit of coding is there a small small coding is there for example variables and all these things suppose here now check it out for example same like a normal language suppose here we are writing a what like this only and now declaring okay how can i i will tell you one of these days your number var cap to something is there now check it out this is a variable is there how can i store the data in a variable these all the things i will tell you this type of little bit of coding is there that is not a difficult coding only and now here little bit of coding is there just through that coding only we are controlling the what server that is nothing but a this type of coding is nothing but a what a plsql procedural language procedural language extension for procedural language extension for spl that is nothing but a what this type of coding we are writing only how can i write what is the uses why we are using a what that code we are learning only that is a pl spl again and now dynamic spl means observe it here in a pl spl some problems are there i am creating a table some ddl we are using means it won't work suppose here i try to write a what like this only don't write it only these all the things you don't have an idea just observe it here this type of same like a pl spl some coding is there for example here a ddl something we are not allowed to use if you want to use this means this type of things means just here and now some type of coding you are writing only in a single code something these type of concepts are called dynamic sql because these all the things you don't have an idea up to now okay fine and now here check it out just observe it here this type of coding how can i means i will tell you and now here yes this type of coding successfully completed something is there or not that's why always okay these all the things we are learning in our course that's why whenever any anyway, software engineer working in a where oracle database software site compulsory they are learning a what three languages one is sql structured query language that is a non procedural language again extension of the spl that is a pl sql procedural language extension for spl that is a procedural little bit of coding is there okay again that 
dynamic SQL. SQL statements are executed at runtime. Yes, these type of things we are learning. That's why in our course, these three languages we are learning means through that one, we are operating in a company side, these type of databases we are operating. So now here, yes, these type of databases where I can, we are operating only, okay? Now? Yeah, so now here. But unfortunately, so many non-technical persons attending a what, the courses in a way, Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server, these courses, they are interested to learn because new to software. That's why directly in a company, you are type of softwares directly they are giving you a training you are understandable that's easy but unfortunately in our those non-technical person purpose before we are going to start these type of softwares i am telling you what another concept what is that one means what is data observe it here yes what is data is there as yes, this type of softwares learning means what is the information what is the difference between data and information today? You are understandable. This data or information storing in some places that is called data store mechanisms. In organizations uses what type of data store mechanism first initial stage onwards when our computers, they are introducing that onwards. Where the son of your flat file, some databases, something is there. In a 1960 onwards, these type of database softwares are there. And now here in that database software, how they are storing. In a olden days, what are the drawbacks are there? Again, DBMS is a terminology is there, database management system. In that one, again, what is a relational database management system? So now so many things are there. Those things better to know before we are going to start our on our course only better. And now here, because first onwards better know. Yes, here. Yeah. Anybody also is easily understandable. That's why. Now here. All organizations stores a what some type of data or information in a way future reporting purpose, some manipulating a what data purpose in a forecasting purpose, different different purpose only. Write it, some theory. Write it, Esper. All organizations, all organizations stores some type of data some type of data. I know today you are easily understandable what is data, what is information, very clearly I know here. Side editing, data, data. Side editing, data. <clears throat> Uh, what is data? So now here, observe it here. Here, something is there. Okay, in a databases, we are learning in a future. Otherwise, some other kind of so now here, another languages we are learning also. Really, what is data? Data, what is data? I means so many fellows are in a books we are referring in a Google, we are typing a what is data or anything. So many others are writing a what one definition that is a standard definition. What is that one means? So slowly observe it here. Today, one of these days, you are understandable. It is a, it is a, it is a collection of collection of a collection of yes anybody hung idea raw facts it is a collection of raw facts only raw facts that is a standard definition what is that raw facts means i will tell you write it data data write it it is a collection of raw facts it is a collection of raw facts and now check it out slowly observe it here Suppose, for example, and now here everyone reading what this definition means, it is a collection of, they're understandable. What is this raw facts? They're confusing only. But raw facts means nothing is there, very easy. Suppose you are a computer student, a little bit of knowledge is there in a way, in a computer science means easily understandable. And now here, check it out, check it out here. Suppose you are a C language programmer, okay, Java, .NET, these type of languages programmer means, in those type of languages, we are declaring a variables like this, integer A, I know, slowly observe it here. Again, float B, okay, character C, like this only we are declaring a what variables. Now observe it here in a left-hand side, integer, float, character is there. No, these are called data types. Don't worry, in a technical person, well-known person, in a non-technical person, observe it here. Data types. Again, here, these are called variables. A, B, C is a variable. So, okay, fine. And now here, check it out, check it out here. Yes, here. What is raw facts means nothing is there. Raw facts is nothing but a what? Same like a normal language, primitive data type. That is a collection of integers. Collection of floats, collection of characters, collection of strings, collection of booleans are nothing but a what? A data. 
that's why a meaning is not there in that one and now here but un unfortunately collection of integers collection of strings collection of booleans collection of characters or nothing but a what data how you differentiate this data and information means once the information i'm starting means then you are understandable don't worry first now example just bookish knowledge i'm telling only first time newcomer purpose what the example of the data means suppose your uh, student level i'm telling only just a simple example student marks student marks are nothing but a what a data marks means number numbers okay 90 20 30 40 is nothing but a what numbers are not yes here again yes business oriented customer names are there customer names customer customer names nothing but a what customer names are nothing but a what yes that is also data that is a what collection of strings my name is morley your name is abc another one xyz like this only are now here now just a small example but once we are starting information then difference you are understandable now side reading information side reading information this one also write it because through this one we are explaining information 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 what is information means so slowly observe it here now check it out yes here what is information means so many fellows are well known persons information is nothing but a so many fellows are i'm asking about information means so many fellows are telling uh, information is nothing but a collection of personal uh, data data is nothing but a collection of information they are telling only that is wrong side always information anybody having idea information is nothing but very 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 important only yes your meaningful data anywhere also in a data science projects in a hadoop projects in a big data projects in a database projects otherwise flat file project anywhere in the world wide with this is the same definition only and now here meaning is there meaningful data is called information our processor data is called information that processor data later first your understandable purpose meaningful data is called information that is what is the meaning of this one every end user also understandable format is there that is called information uh, yes here suppose whenever we are processing data we are achieving a what some reports okay fine these reports are understandable in a meaningful format only this will be there i am also your understandable you are also understandable in a non technical person also understandable that's why end user understandable format is there that is called information information is understandable every end user but a data is not understandable this is a technical that is a collection of integer collection of strings collection of dates like that but how you are differentiate means i will tell you one by one write it this definition information information write it information information is information is nothing but information is nothing but meaningful meaningful data information is nothing but meaningful data now slowly observe it here <clears throat> otherwise some extension also write it because you are a first time newcomer no write it when we are when we are processing when we are processing data data when we are processing data then we are achieving then we are achieving meaningful result then we are achieving meaningful result this is called this is called information this is called information what is this one and now here check it out concentrate here suppose for example in a books we are referring means so student marks they are giving in a very data but what is information related to that one means concentrate very easy understandable suppose everyone knows in the world wide and a student marks related information okay example is very easy only okay based on that one only yes so student mark sheet is nothing but a what a mark sheet mark sheet student mark sheet is nothing but a what information what is the difference and now check it out it's easily understandable mark sheet means easily understandable suppose and now here yes here my father is a non-technical person 
in my college only so now here yes they are giving a what mark sheet only for example sign purpose only i am i am giving a what mark sheet to my father for example he is observing only whenever he is observing a what yes mark sheet he is a non technical person also a little bit of normal knowledge is there now here easily yeah, is understandable whenever he is viewing a what that mark sheet oh java morally java is a 70 marks is there okay so now here yes dot net is a what also okay so now 30 marks are there again here plsql okay zero marks are there like this easily understandable or not yes here that's why always whenever end user okay so now observing a what that report a meaning is there easily understandable understandable format is there end user understandable format is there that is nothing but a what information suppose here for example and uh, now here customer names are nothing but a data they are telling only and now but unfortunately what is the customer names related information means i am telling you what what is that one means best example invoice invoice of a customer invoice invoice of a customer is nothing but a what a business side you know so many examples are there invoice of a customer is a best a simple example in a very information what is invoice of a customer means simple and now whenever you are purchasing any items also invoice they are giving a what in a shop only shopkeeper in that case that invoice anybody observing also easily understandable all the okay son of here is, uh, things written in a very invoice only suppose for example today i am purchasing a one car whenever i am purchasing a one car okay my shopkeeper giving a invoice whenever my invoice observing by the my friend means my friend is observing what that invoice there he is being means yes easily understandable what is the car name what is the cost so now here what is the tax they are okay so now giving only those all the uh, whatever tax or gst i am paying only these all the details are there that's why end user understandable format is there that is called what information end user understandable format is there meaning is there that is called what information very easy and now end user understandable format is not there that is data okay in a books we are referring in a okay so now net we are referring also this type of definition is there that's why bookish knowledge i'm copying only but unfortunately in our class more clarity is required suppose i am telling the same bookish knowledge definition also you are understandable or not first time checking only how i am checking is simple suppose here data is a, this definition is there meaningful data is nothing but information is there but you are understandable or not now i am checking what is that one means observe here concentrate finish the all are writing this one student mark sheet and invoice of a customer write it okay fine now check it out for example now i am writing a what something in a where in a screen only now based on these definitions that is a data or information i am confusing but you are only tell me correctly maybe guess it some fellows are guessing only that is data or information now check it out suppose 101 i am writing okay fine simple example morally i am writing okay fine again here 5000 i am writing in my screen again i am writing a what here 102 abc okay fine yes here again 8000 something i am writing just in a screen observe here my documentation this this something is there for example 103 xyz here 9000 something is there now this is a data or information maybe 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 anybody guess it this is a data or information confusing oh something is there in my documentation this is a data or information a data means some definition is there okay information means some meaningful data is there definitions okay but suddenly murli sir writing a what yes in a screen only something this is a data information i am asking only yes so many fellows are telling a what very good yes here this is a data you are telling very good correct this is a data some fellows are information they are thinking okay observe it here how easy means i will tell you don't worry now this is a data you are telling how you are telling i don't know really i know but unfortunately you are telling a what a data you are telling only 100% correct this is a data but unfortunately yes here i will tell you how you are given the guarantee this is a data I means simple simple entertainment example is there and now check it out simple example i am i am telling only on one minute only and now check it out maybe in a non technical person is there now check it out suppose here today this is a demo is going a demo small small things only and now here morally sir telling a what a demo only so many fellows are attending in a very demo for example okay fine now all are from india yes all are from india i think okay fine yes here okay they are telling yes okay fine but unfortunately suddenly observe here small thing observe here suddenly another country person attending a interview uh, sorry i attending at this demo for example and now here yes here 
for example west indies person attending a my demo only for example another country person west indies person attending a what demo okay fine you are telling correctly but i, I am uh, okay asking about that person what is this one what is this one i am asking then what is this one i am asking is that west indies person yes here first these things correctly they are telling oh these are numbers he is telling okay fine up to now there is no problem okay fine west indies person these are numbers he is telling only okay fine yes here again i am asking you what what is this one i am asking only but unfortunately i am surprising only now he is telling a what answer yes here now west indies person he is telling a what answer this is these are animal names they are telling only yes may be correct animal names he is telling only why he is telling oh maybe murli means who knows okay actually indian person knows oh that is a human person name but unfortunately that west indian person another country person doesn't know what is murli or anything maybe he is thinking a what this is a what animal names these are animal names only that's why meaning is not there here here meaning is not there yeah i am thinking differently that person is thinking differently another person is different thinking differently only that's why these are collection of these are numbers are there these are collection of strings are there these are collection of numbers are there that is nothing but a what a data here meaning is not there meaning is not there end user understandable format is not there that's why this is called what a data very good suppose suddenly 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 and uh, now here check it out yes in this project only just i am writing a pro project side this data i'm changing like this now everyone telling suppose here this is a way i am changing for example and now here check it out this document i am changing like this here i am writing a what here this is a employee number for example and now here check it out employee number this is a what employee name this is a salary i am writing only now this is a data or information maybe 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 easily you are telling only maybe maybe now this is a data or information now 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 this is a data or information very good this is a what 100% this is a information now this is a information this is a information how you are given the guarantee everyone given the guarantee means compared to previous case this a meaning is there meaningful data meaning oh maybe this employee number is a 101 his name is a what murli he name is there no ana uh, maybe he is getting a what salary 5000 here dollars or rupees or that is it. later okay fine first observative pre compared to previous case meaning is there or not oh maybe employee number 102 his name is what abc now salary is what 8000 that's why meaning is there meaningful data is there that is called what information that's why meaningful data is called information easily understandable or not that's why they are telling a what in information is nothing but meaningful data why i am slowly i am telling you what this concept means actually what the rules are there in a databases in a future you are learning first rule is information rule that's data and information difference you are understandable then only you are understandable in a future that concept that purpose only slightly small thing i am telling okay yes understood and now now our words nobody mistaken and now suppose in my screen only i am writing a what 70 i am writing only whenever i am writing a what 70 this is a data or information tell me fast nobody mistaken i think this is a data or information fast 70 70 is a what a data very good this 70 is a data why because this 70 i don't know you don't know this is a number that's all what is this 70 that is a number meaning is not there very good that is nothing but a what a data correct 100% correct yes that's why you are never mistaken data this is a 70 is a number but unfortunately in my project side this is 70 above for example representation side this is the same 70 is there in this 70 above i am writing a what some text only suppose here marks i am writing only marks 70 is a what which one information or data very good information meaning is there or not suppose here this is a what yes here rupees i am writing only oh maybe 70 rupees that is a main data or information information suppose here i am writing a what here age i am writing only not my age okay age only age 70 i am writing only some person age is a what 70 that is nothing but a what information that's why meaningful data is called is called which one information meaningful data is called information understood how much easy and now here check it out that's why this is nobody mistaken meaningful data is called information data means collection of numbers collection of strings collection of dates anything primitive data types are nothing but a what data data means technical terminology that is the meaning is not there really okay fine now check it out concentrate concentrate here 
suppose here this information is meaningful data today you are understandable format okay for example but unfortunately you are experienced database programmer means information means some other concept also there what is that one means observe it here actually okay in a informatica projects in a data warehousing projects in a database projects in a future in a data science projects and a hadoop projects they are telling you what information is nothing but a what in a future not now in a processed data is called processed data is called information that is also original one really okay fine but today i am not telling on a processed data what is processed data summarized data suppose this is a salary is a column is there this total salary i want a total salary on a average salary is a maximum salary those things i want means i am processing some data only that is nothing but i want yes here information suppose in a future on now here total salary means sum is a function is there on now here we are writing like this only on now here check it out yes automatically this is called processed data in a computer or in a database terminology side in a feature that is nothing but a what information suppose here i am writing i am processing that data only average salary something is there in a feature you are familiar uh, this is nothing but a what yes information that's why processed data is also called as what information but today that much of knowledge is not there we are not starting in a databases that's why just i am telling you what which one or maybe whenever before we are going to start this type of database softwares or really in organization side data or some information is there what is data means okay the collection of raw facts that is collection of integer collection of strings there is no meaning okay information means what meaningful data is called which one information okay na up to now is it understandable or not yes here now check it out concentrate concentrate here but unfortunately in organizations this data or information storing in a permanently is very important in organization side that is called data store mechanisms that is called what data store mechanisms side reading data store write it data store data store <clears throat> very easy data store a uh, data store means it is a place only where we can store data or information only in organization simple uh, now write it it is a place it is a place it is a place where we can where we can store data or information information it is a place where we can store data or information Uh, actually every organization nowadays in a organization you are observing also yes here how many types of data storing mechanisms they are using means only three types in those three types also one type is popular nowadays okay three types only they are using three ways only they are storing a what a data or data store mechanisms they are using only on now here yes here every organizations uses a what following types of data store mechanisms for storing a data or information permanently okay na yes here write it generally all organizations all organizations uses following types of following types of data store mechanisms data store mechanisms following types of data store mechanisms these are uh, what are the mechanisms are there means uh, now here very easy now observe it here actually without computers okay some so now without computers in a where in a company side only without using computers they are storing a what without using computers means ledger books are there no that is nothing what about papers books and papers actually that is we are not learning why because computer students means computers onwards how we are storing data i will tell you books and papers first mechanism is books and papers second one is yes 1960 before flat files is a some concept is there what is that one today we are starting okay fine flat files flat file approach is there what is that one 
again flat file means files only on now third one 1960 onwards yes databases databases database means in our course these type of things only we are learning okay yeah so now first write it books and papers second one flat files third one database database means in our course once we are starting that one means what is database all the things i will tell you okay yes first non technical person purpose these are all the things books and papers flat files and database database softwares are available in 1960 don't worry okay na yes here yeah. and now check it out but books and papers i am not telling okay so now in our computer student means through the computers how can i store the what data or information is important okay company side now actually without computers only maybe some rural areas in india some small small organizations are there those persons still they are using a what how they are storing a what data or information means in a ledger books so many account students well known persons books only in a books and papers are ledger books are there in that one yes employee name address and also okay those transaction details also as that employee salary so many details are storing in a where books and papers okay that is also possible but unfortunately whenever computers are introduced in a where in organizations for storing data or manipulating data yes another thing is there 1960 before yes a flat file is a mechanism is there what is that flat file approach what are the drawbacks are there what so now from those drawbacks they are introducing a what these type of database softwares i will tell you okay na yeah so now we are write it flat files write it flat files what is flat file i will tell you flat files flat files now flat files means nothing is there actually flat files means files only simple and now here yes suppose a dot dat file dot xls file dot okay so now here yes here okay text text file like this only these are extension this is nothing files are nothing but a what is yes, they are calling a what in a computer technology side flat files okay fine now check it out for example and now slowly concentrate here this is a old and style concept only and now observe it here suppose today i want to store some data or information in a where in a c colon here like the c colon d colon here i want to store some data or information like this here only i must i want to store the data yes how can i means actually through the computer knowledge many any programming knowledge is there actually suppose you are a c programmer for example don't write it you are a c programmer you want to store a what a data into where in a hard disk suppose here this is a hard disk is there and now here this is a computer hard disk is there and now here this is a hard disk here also permanently programming through i'm telling here hard disk is there now in this hard disk in a d colon or c colon here in a c drive d drive i want to store a what some data for example suppose you are a c programmer java programmer through the programming languages through also possible not a database okay fine observe it here suppose you are a c programmer means how you are writing wide main something is there then we are defining a what a file structure file file pointer we are defining don't write it and now here check it out in a where some coding is there file pointer is equal to f open here something we are writing only that path only file name dot yes here txt anything also we are using write mode read mode so many things are there are not yes this coding you are writing again f write means writing purpose f read means reading purpose some loops are there okay some coding is there you are observing or not yes here through that coding only just you are writing but unfortunately whenever we are specifying a what this file name automatically this file is physically physically stored in a where automatically physically created in a where in a hard disk so yeah through the java through the c through the c++ plus plus in a language also and now and also through the where these some functions through we are reading a data this data also automatically stored in a where yes here in these files only these type of mechanisms are called flat file approach what is flat file approach means we are storing the data permanently in a where in a files okay in a drive only c drive d drive like this operating system files but unfortunately how we are storing the data very difficult these type of programming languages we are Using. you know old and this cobol is a program is there no ada is a program is there no those type of programming languages that is old and is very difficult yes here observe here through the programs 
through the some programs only we are storing a what a data into where in a hard disk only in a files only that is called flat file approach that's why it is a traditional mechanism golden disk mechanism which is, is used to yes yeah, store the data or information in a where programmatically permanently into secondary storage devices by using application programs in high level languages that's why compulsory some language is required that language you are learning is difficult to no? know why so many fellows are interested to learn a database is nowadays not technical person also means uh, what the advantage is here programming language is not required your programming language is not required just a simple simple commands are there this is a sql language is there through that one we are storing our water data possible or not in a databases that is also permanent but unfortunately we are storing difficult retrieving difficult so much of thing that's why prior to 1960 1960 year before yes your organizations use as flat file approach for storing data or information in a file format only by using application programs in high level languages compulsory programs are required but But nowadays nobody interested to use this one this mechanism why because through learning a programming language through that one the storing a data very difficult really and now that's why that is outdated any organization also still not using only nowadays very simple way storing or manipulating data through the databases these type of software is very easy only but programming is not there but here programming only all the things flat files write it prior to prior means before right it prior to 1960 organizations organizations uses flat file approach flat file approach in data management data management is storing data okay in data management in data management that is in this approach in this approach we are storing data suppose we are program we are storing data we are storing data permanently permanent this is also permanent permanently in files files in files by using by using application programs by using application programs in high level languages in high level languages in high level languages high level language means so many okay, programming languages are there no? but nowadays nobody any organization also not using this technique okay because this outdated okay just idea purpose i am telling okay finished i uh, know through the programming we are nobody is storing our water data nowadays okay na that's why flat file approach what are the drawbacks means bookish knowledge yes you are observed here what are the disadvantages what are the drawbacks are there means some computer terminology i want only what is that one means what are the drawbacks means why drawbacks also next class aside how it will be storing i will tell you okay na drawbacks means first one very easy data retrieval okay so now here write it data retrieval what is that one today at least i i will tell you that data retrieval second one is most powerful yes here data redundancy through that one commit roll back so many things we are learning data redundancy something that is a inconsistency problem is there next data integrity data integrity okay fine just a small theory again another one is these all the things we are explaining don't worry data security very easy data security so many drawbacks are there just your understandable purpose i am telling some drawbacks here data indexing data indexing in a flat file approach these are the drawbacks at least today one drawback i am telling because first time no first time newcomer no at least one drawback i am telling today okay small demo class i know and now here first one finish the write it what are the drawbacks of the flat file approach means without databases data retrieval data redundancy data integrity data security data indexing now first one at least today write it data retrieval this is very easily understandable data retrieval now data retrieval 
now check it out one minute only easily everyone telling very suppose i am a flat file programmer i am not a database programmer i am writing about a very big program for example c program i am writing only for example in my company through that one yes uh, we, we are struggling we are writing a program we are storing about some data for example this is a data we are storing only uh, now here check it out this is a data we are storing okay fine in a file format okay fine but unfortunately i want to fetch fetch this data i want to retrieve this data i want to retrieve this data from file and in a user interface i want only for example i want to retrieve this data for generating a report for example you are a c programmer if you want to fetch this data means very difficult again suppose storing a data means you have write functions the reading the data means you have read as a function again you are writing a what program that is a drawback so now here storing a data also difficult and also which one of so now here yes here again 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 here you have open something is and now here again here reading a what a data also a difficult only and now why because some programs we are writing only you have read okay so many things are there are not some coding is there okay so much of coding is there that's why through the programming languages only again we are retrieving a what data in a flat file approach that much of difficult the storing also program is required retrieving also program is required but unfortunately nowadays 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 nobody using a what these type of flat files this type of files on a golden days mechanism nobody using nowadays you are a good programmer means this is a database through we are storing a data i will tell you one of these days once we are starting course now here suppose here in a somewhere in a hard disk only in a database only data is there Uh, now here now i want to fetch the data means according to uh, client requirement just we are writing a what which one sql language simple programming language is not required yes non procedural language just how much easy way we are retrieving a data suppose here now i am writing a what some coding only in a future you are also writing a what a coding like this now here check it out one line of coding is there yes automatically first uh, some employees uh, data i am retrieving only yes employee names and salaries very easy we are retrieving or not here we, we are not using any programming language in a databases very easy but unfortunately in a where in a old and days in a where in a flat files always we are using a what a programming languages we are using that is right data retrieval if you want to sorry in flat file approach right it in flat file approach in flat file approach if you want to fetch fetching if you want to fetch data from file then we must then we must develop application program application program then we must develop application programs okay programs in high level languages in high level languages that is difficult no high level languages whereas whereas means in a future okay whereas in database approach database means in a future we are learning okay na? whereas in database approach whereas in database approach if you want to retrieve if you want to retrieve data then we are using sql languages some separate languages we are using okay na yes sql languages how much easy okay na ah yes up to this one is enough a small thing only i am telling then tomorrow these data redundancy through that one commit role something other concepts are there these all the things fast i am telling then dbms then now what is the drawbacks in a old and days why these drawbacks are there storing mechanism different different structure is there then how overcome that those problems by using a what these type of database softwares what i call sql server these softwares how can i those all the things i will tell you that is better okay na yes first time Yes, understood this one. Okay, na. Finished. Yeah.
Okay, now very easy. These long ways, whenever you are starting a what SQL long, SQL long ways through that easy concept. Okay, now yeah. So now this is very helpful in a very in a type of. Uh, so now here a data related projects you are working. Nowadays big data is there, data science is there. Okay, cloud ERP is there. You are actually here, cloud is there. Or a collapse is there. BLS. So many areas it is helpful. That's why at least one database perfectly you are learning. At least basic you are learning only either MySQL, either Oracle, either okay, SQL server, anything, any long, it's not a problem. Here in a Oracle is very easy and so many jobs also there. That's why we are learning about Oracle. Okay, yeah. Tomorrow I will tell you remind. Up to this one, small thing enough. Tomorrow we'll continue remind. Okay, yeah. Okay, now. First time now. How can you install all the things? I will tell you. Okay. Yeah.